What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Codexual, and today we're going to be talking about the screen link from Elgato. Now, this has been dropped four hours ago, so it is fresh out of the pot. Um, so screen link allows you to capture from your iPhone, iPad, iOS device. Um, you can share anything, capture to produce, mobilize your games, argument your content, um, argument your content and uh, shoot from the hip and you get the missing link that you're able to, if you have your PC and an iPhone, iPad, you can merge those two. Well, let me, let me get more in the um, definition of merging. Basically, we're gonna take the screen here and we're gonna share it from our phone to the Elgato software. And if you want to broadcast that out or just hit the record button, you can do that as well. So essentially, it's like marrying your screen from your iPhone towards your computer. Now, when you install the screen link, I'm just gonna give you a big fat warning that you only get 15 minutes of free trial. I was kind of disgusted by that, but if you um, prefer to like the software, you could purchase for the, the pro version. So um, let's get into how to set this all up. And if you happen to like it, good for you. I already have my alternatives for mirroring screens, but um, let's uh, let's check out screen link. So without further ado, if you guys can do me one big favor is to hit that big red button, make sure you hit the post notifications. So um, every time that you hit the bell icon, you'll be notified with a upload. Now, if you also need any help or just want to hang out, I do a live stream mixer.com slash codexual come through or even join us on the discord links in the description and also pin comments. Okay, so you're going to be needing the 4K capture utility and the game capture software. Um, it says to download one or the other. I just download both um, just to get that out of the way. Then um, once you download that from the, from the website, uh, which is right here, and just install that, set that up. And also they have also came out with a uh, control for lights, but that's for another video. So, okay, on the right, you'll see that I already have the screen link on my phone. And if I go towards the um, camera, it showed up on the camera. If I go to get started, it will bring up a checklist. So first thing we need to do is enable the screen recording and assume the uh, next step after that, you have already downloaded the Elgato apps on your computer. So to enable the screen recording, you need to go towards your settings, scroll down a bit where it says control center right there. And it'll say customize controls. And let's go ahead and remove that. This is what it'll look like for you. Um, you'll scroll down. You're going to hit the green plus button where it says screen recording now it is in the include group now if we hit the home button swipe up you notice at the very bottom left icon that was never there before now you're actually able to record content or broadcast out so if we hold it down on this icon it will prompt up with the uh with the screen link which it will show which step was it start your broadcast yeah so you got to hold down on the screen recording and make sure you hit screen link then hit start broadcast um, then I will have to disable my phone then I'll be able to capture instead of using this mirroring program right here we'll be mirroring to the Elgato software so I just wanted to show you with this mirroring um, how to set this all up beforehand. So make sure that you're on the same network, your Wi-Fi is connected towards um, the same Wi-Fi, or if you happen to can plug a ethernet into your computer, awesome. Just as long as you're on the same network, awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and move over towards the Elgato software. Let's bring that up here. So if you happen to, um, I have this pulled up and make sure that you go to the settings and make sure that you have enable stream link and this is beta. So make sure that's enabled Then go to device and it will say capture device and make sure that's on the screen link. 
So that's basically all you need to do for the software. Now let me go ahead and again, you're gonna swipe up, you're gonna hit that record button on the bottom left, you're gonna hold it down until it'll prompt up with the screen link, then you're gonna hit start a broadcast. That's highly important. So right here are the steps that will take you to that. So let's go ahead and uh, broadcast out towards the software. Um, let me stop mirroring, stop mirroring, and uh, screen link, start broadcast, then it's gonna do a countdown. And now if we hit live, there we go. So essentially it's still, it's this is a little bit laggy. So it's not really ideal for me to use this software. It's still in beta. So you're just gonna have to give it a chance. Um, if you're on a um, very fast Wi-Fi network or with no inter radio interference whatsoever, then um, it should be a smoother transition for you. But you can now uh, flip your phone or your iPad and uh, it should put it in landscape mode instead of portrait. No? Okay. Well, weird. Or maybe there's like to it. Okay. I don't know. So that's how you set up. Oh, there's the landscape. So that's how you uh, set up your um, screen link with. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> but um, that's how you set it up. So uh, hopefully there'll be a smoother transition throughout um, when it's no longer beta. Everything's just finalized. But um, this is something start of what Elgato is really pushing for, and they're trying to dominate, or they are dominating, the um, um, the streaming world. So I hope to see more improvement. Definitely, definitely would like to see that. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Y'all take care, and uh, goodbye for now. Random things pop out on the internet on a daily basis, kind of like how this video popped out to you and there's a tinfoil on my head and you're probably thinking, why? Well, I just don't want the government or my wife reading my thoughts. But um, speaking of random things, it's kind of like you don't want identity theft to occur. You want your data to be encrypted. So you're thinking maybe, just maybe, if you get an ethernet cord and tinfoil wrapped around it, it will encrypt your data. Is this completely true? Not whatsoever. Now it's kind of like saying this, you leave your significant other on a beach alone with another foreigner after a long heated argument and this person just comes along and strolls. You know what's gonna happen? <laughs> it's securities. So be secure today with our VPN. The link is down in the video and the description as well and it's going to be today's affiliate or sponsor. So let's continue with the rest of the content. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.